everyone, it's Mark Weens, and I just wrapped up a 16-day food and travel trip, but more than a trip, it was an experience and a journey through Pakistan. We began our journey in Lahore, which is an amazing city of history and food, before continuing on to Gujranwala, Chakwal, Islamabad, Peshawar. And then after Peshawar, we continued to the north, uh, the northern mountainous region of Gilgit, Baltistan, which was incredibly beautiful. And from there, we continued on to Karachi. There are three main ideas or concepts that really stood out to me during my trip to Pakistan. Number one is the welcome and the hospitality of people. And we were filming food videos, so we were going from restaurant to restaurant and street food stall to street food stall, but there was not one day that went by during this trip to Pakistan where we tried to pay for the food and one of the vendors would not accept our payment. They said it would dishonor them if we, if, we, if we paid them money for the food. And so that was so heartwarming. Um, and every single day, people would come up. They would want to shake our hands. They'd want to take a photo. Uh, they would just want to welcome us to Pakistan and say thank you for being for for being here for traveling to Pakistan. Number two is the food, and of course we traveled to Pakistan for the food. The food was unbelievable. From karahis to kebabs to niharis to payas and all the street food in between, you'll find food everywhere, and, and it's so rich, it's so flavorful. Food was incredible. Finally, number three is the unbelievable land and the scenery of Pakistan, especially when you traveled around the Gilgit Baltistan region, the mountainous region, the Karakaram Mountains and the Himalayas. Uh, we traveled all the way up to the Kunjarab Pass, which is at 16,000 feet, uh, all the way down to Karachi at sea level. And in between, you'll find deserts, you'll find mountain valleys. It's the, the rugged, some of the most rugged, jagged mountain scenery and glaciers I've ever seen in my life. And I was amazed by the scenery of Pakistan. I want to say a massive thank you to Ali from Pakistan Travel Mart. He organized our trip, he helped with everything, he took, he, we traveled with him, we ate with him, he's so much fun to hang out with, and without Ali it wouldn't have been possible. So a huge thank you to Ali for making this entire trip happen. And finally I want to mention that Pakistan hasn't always received the most positive uh, impression, uh, and it has faced many struggles and conflicts. But recently and then in the past few years, Pakistan has made huge major improvements in safety and security. And for what it's worth, I would mention that on my 16 day trip, and we traveled pretty extensively through many regions of Pakistan, that not even on one occasion, even in the major cities, even in the remote destinations, did I feel threatened or in danger. And actually it was the total opposite. People just walking along the streets, random people, they wanted to shake our hands, they wanted to say welcome, they wanted to greet us, they wanted to say thank you for visiting Pakistan. And so I owe it to the people of Pakistan. I'm so grateful for the opportunity that I had to visit. It was a privilege and it was one of the most memorable, one of the most unforgettable trips that I've ever had in my life. And one more thing, my new favorite pair of footwear, Peshawari Chapals with the thick soles. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much, Pakistan. It was a trip of a lifetime. Hey, how are, how you? are you? Nice to meet you. I was you. just watching your video in the morning and I was thinking, hey, how can I, uh, you are not coming to Pakistan. You Thank you very much. Time.